and welcome to easy math channel this week we will look at how to interpret a graph specifically we'll focus on bar graph um, and we'll look at an example to understand what does it mean when I say bar graph and we'll look at a couple more examples along with questions and how do we you know answer those questions based on certain bar graph so a graph or in this case a bar graph are useful ways to display information or any given set of data now a bar graph as you can see here it, it uses bar so as you can see all of these bars that's why it's called a bar graph compares say different things so it could be in this example it's it, it, it's comparing pies different kind of pies between boys and girls it could also be used to compare different places or different things and the bar could be either horizontal or vertical in this case it's vertical bar but we will go over some examples where we will see horizontal bars and each bar if you look at these each bar it represents a number so in this case this bar this bar represents uh, let me reduce the width of my pencil so this bar represents 12 which is 12 number of students so and it's easy for I mean in terms of in terms of any graph or bar graph it's just easy uh, to kind of look at it visually um, and we can compare different characteristics or compare one bar to the another bar and usually you'll see if there are like multiple bars so in this case there are two bars uh, each bar will have a different color so it's easier to kind of distinguish between a uh, different group so in this case red is boys and and this checkbox with the blue color is for girls and this thing here oops and this box here is called keys and it's it's important because otherwise like without this key we wouldn't know what red means and what the blue color means so key is really important so okay so with that let's just look at this given example where on the x-axis we have different flavors which is flavors of or different pie flavors so apple cherry peach and pumpkin and on the y-axis we have number of students who who said what type of pie do they like the most so for for in this example nine boys said that they like apple pie and six girls said that they like um apple pie in this case so let me just write it's nine and then six in this case nine boys said they like cherry pie and 12 girls said that they like cherry pie in this case three boys said they like peach and here 15 girls said they like peach now i'm getting these numbers again by from the horiz from the uh, y-axis so since this bar is of this length and this represents three on y-axis um, in this case 12 boys and 12 girls they said both of them like equal number of boys and equal number of girls like pumpkin pies okay so in total we have around 78 student oh and by the way i got these screenshots of graphs from of these graphs from the macro hill education publication textbook so i'm just using those the graphs from the textbooks okay so going back to our question so let's say in this case we had 78 students and if we want to say that how many students in total voted for either apple or peach pie okay so now the question is we have to figure out the number of students who voted for either apple pie or peach pie let me change the color so it's easier 
now okay so the first step would be to calculate the number of students for apple pie so uh, we can see here that total nine boys and six girls are they like, they like apple pie so if we add that we get 15 and second for peach pie we look at the graph again and we can see that three boys said they like peach pie and 15 girls said said that they, they like peach pie so this would be 3 plus 15 and that's 18 so in total we have 15 plus 18 which is 33 students who voted for either apple or peach pie and that's how we use um, bar graph to understand the information or the data and to use it to answer questions like this let's look at a couple more examples to make it more easier and to make yourself more familiar with bar graphs okay so first um, so in this below graph which is sales versus profit by month um, and sales is this blue line blue color and the profit is the red ones um, so okay so the question is in the bar graph below which two months did the company lose money and you can see that this is the minimum uh, the minimum value where the line starts now below this is all negative numbers as you can see it's minus 150 and on and above this line is all positive numbers so um, when it comes to lose money that means it's asking for negative profit it's, it's asking for negative profits so if we look at this graph again this is all month and on the y-axis we have values in dollars so this is two dollar this is 154 dollar 306 dollars and so on and so forth and and below this is negative amount so this is negative 150 dollar so if we look at it we'll have to find out that which two months where the profits negative so in this case would be which two months where the profits below this line and we can see that this is first and this is second so the answer for this would be April and May. So these were the two months where the company made um, negative profits or we can also say that in the month of April and May the company lost money. Okay, so let's look at our second to last example. Now in this case, if you remember in the beginning I, uh, I talked about if for a bar graph it could be either vertical or horizontal so this is an example of a horizontal graph where uh, the number of students are uh, are on the x-axis and the type of hair color is on the y-axis and you can see that this this graph is 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 plotting or is for the color of of our hair so to before I read the question let's say what does each of these graphs mean so this says four students like uh, blonde hair six students like brown hair nine students so this is eight nine and ten nine students like black hair and three students like red hair hair color so the question says on this bar graph which hair color is the least common so we can see that what's the least number here and three obviously is the least here and we can say that red hair color is the least common awesome so um, again the 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 interpretation uh, regardless of whether the bar is vertical or horizontal remains kind of kind of similar okay so let's look at our last example where this graph is for the favorite type of movies and we can see that 
the different type of movies are on the y axis or are on the x axis and the number of movies watched are on the y axis so for example this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so we can see that the person saw four movies of comedy type uh, five movies action movies six romantic movies one drama movie and then four science fiction movie now the question here at, here is your friend made a bar graph which is this to show which type of movie she watches the most so based on this information comma and this should be small okay so based on this information what type of movie should you not bring to her house for viewing so your friend made this bar graph to show that what different type of movies has she seen um, and this says she has watched four different movies in comedy one in drama four in science fiction so clearly she likes drama type of movie the least given that she has watched other type of movies a lot compared to drama so the question says based on this information what type of movie should you not bring to her house for viewing now since it's clear that she doesn't like drama movie you shouldn't bring drama any movie that that is of type drama to her house for viewing so the answer for this is drama movie great so i hope um, these examples were useful to make you understand what it means or how do you interpret um, a bar graph and how do you use a bar graph to answer different questions so I hope this video was useful and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel easy math and please leave your comments below thank you